friends, and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal, and today I'm going to take you guys through a quick flip through of my second Traveler's Notebook album filled with all of my Sunday sketches. So while I'm getting this out, let me just tell you what that is. So over on Instagram, every Sunday I release a Traveler's Notebook themed sketch for you guys to um, alter and use in your own projects. Now those sketches can be used to put in a traveler's notebook but they can also be used as a 12 by 12 spread or really any size that you're working with. It's just a general idea of something to uh, of a design element to use when you are working through your projects. So I already have one of these albums filled with uh, the pages and then the flip through is on my channel. I will link that up at the eye for you guys in case you wanna check that out. This is the second album. So I always start my albums with the dates that I started working on it and finished working on it. So this one went from May 22nd through July 26th. For the first one, I used a big half circle element on my page. I loved this picture of my son, and I loved the way that it worked with a lot of these older papers that I had in my stash from Kelly Perky. So that's where most of the papers came from. I also used this wet and wild acrylic piece from Colorcast Designs that I've had in my stash for a while, and I had a like title builder puffy sticker set from Ellie's studio. It's also been in my stash for a while, so I was able to use that to make a larger title over here on the left side. Then I used a bunch of circles to create almost a bubble effect since this was very much water themed, and then added some journaling on here. For the second spread, I used my Allie Edwards list story kit, and I went around my, well, not really around my house. I just kind of like thought about some different things that I could count in regards to coronavirus and stay at home orders and stuff that we had been experiencing here at home. So things like 79 days at home, 20 Amazon orders over the course of being home. I know that's ridiculous. Five weeks of prepped meals in the freezer which is just something that we've carried through for a while now. We like to keep our freezer fully stocked um, so that we don't have to do a lot of meal prep day of. Six books finished at the time I recorded this. Eight hours on average on my phone per day, ouch. And 34 processed videos posted to YouTube, which is a huge accomplishment. So I'm pretty cool, I'm pretty happy with that. I did add some stitching elements onto this page. I stitched through my title, which I had printed and fussy cut out. And then I also uh, stitched through the chipboard numbers as well. So super fun, super fun spread for that one. The next spread, the whole idea came to me as like a photo strip. So I wanted to create a big photo strip type element and then use the other page for journaling. I have been really trying with my Sunday sketches to not go digital because that is my go-to or hybrid. I am a hybrid scrapper through and through, but I have a lot of physical product. So for these sketches, I really, really try not to use my digital stuff and to use what I have here on hand. So I printed the three photos here all in black and white so that they would go together regardless of what my kids were wearing or where they were at in the yard when we took these photos. And then I put it on this really bold graphic paper. Um, I'm trying to remember, I think it might be Heidi Swap is the, the paper, the pattern paper here. And then I did print out my journaling, but then I cut it into strips so I could add it onto my page here uh, as, along with some other uh, tiny free stickers. These are from the Tim Holtz like sticker book. Um, I have a Let's Play chipboard from Allie Edwards. And then here is that same title builder that I used from the beginning. So I've got Hello Fun and Life is Good came from the same set. So that was really fun. So this is just talking about being outside. For the next spread, my concept was to do one side with a photo and then on the other side to use up a bunch of ephemera from my stash. <laughs> so I just wanted to create like a collage that is fun and bright. I chose to document this photo of my daughter getting her certificate for graduating from preschool. She'll go to kindergarten in the fall. So this was her teacher came over to our house to give her her stuff and we took a picture and that's pretty much it for her and her teacher. It's so sad that the end of the year kind of like 
pooped out on her. Um, I've got a little bit of journaling on here, and I just love all of these ephemera pieces. I've had this one where it says A+, and this apple for the longest time, because I, you know, nobody was really in school, um, or at least we don't really, we haven't really had school activities to document, so I finally got to use those up, and that felt awesome. The next page is a tag theme. So what I did is for this side, this is just one picture. I created my own template in Photoshop. So here I am breaking my own rules. I did do something hybrid here. I um, So I created a tag shape and I clipped my photos into it uh, on an angle because I liked the idea of them being on an angle. I did I did consider cutting them all out and then sticking them on top of another paper just to add that dimension in there, but then I decided that that was just work I didn't need to do, so I just stuck it on there as a photo. On the opposite side, I have this swirly paper. It looks kind of like waves. This is a Vicki Booten paper, and then I stitched on a vellum pocket. Now, since I adhere my pages onto, like, there's, I have two pages sandwiched with a uh, or I should say a paper sandwiched in between two pages. There we go. So because I do that, I can stitch everything on before I stick it into the book and it works out real nice. Then I created my own tag here using a pattern paper that I had made like a long time ago. This is an Everyday Explorer stamp set that was, I purchased it through Studio Calico and used it to create a repeat stamp background. I added a little chipboard on there, and then when you flip it over, there's all my journaling can, you know, to go with this page in particular. So that was a really fun way to add journaling and also a little bit of interactiveness to this page, or this book. For the next spread, this one documented a trip that I went on with my mom and my sister up north to go wine tasting. Um, the inspiration for this page came from the Colorcast Design acrylic piece right here, these rainbow hearts. Loved it. So I went in my stash and found this gray and white stripe paper. This was from Pink Fresh Studio from the Super Cool Collection. Um, and then I also had this really fun sun pattern paper from Freckled Fawn. So I decided to cut it at an angle and sew this side into a pocket. Now the Pink Fresh Studio, uh, Super cool collection also had these little pockets that I had purchased. They were like an ephemera piece. So these were already pre-made, but I thought it looked really cool to take the little pocket and stick it on the big pockets. And then we've got like stuff that comes out of here that's ephemera from the trip that we went on. And then this little itty bitty journaling piece that comes out of the small uh, pocket to just talk about what this page is actually about. I added my photo over here and kept this side pretty clean since there's a lot going on over here. Added a, um, a label piece and just date stamped all over it for that particular date. So this one turned out really fun. Next, I, I believe the next three, the final three spreads in this book, I put together after I worked on my um, Trevor City travel album that I've been, you guys have seen some videos come up for that. So I have a lot of bits and pieces le left over that I just want to use up, like scrap bits and all of that. So I tried to use as much as I could on these next couple of spreads. For this one, I took small strips of this paper, I believe these are half an inch, and I put them onto a piece of um, copy paper. Like I just stuck them all on there to fill up this copy paper. Then I drew a heart. Uh, I just hand drew, you know, like the half of the heart and you cut it and it flips open. Right. So I did that and then traced it onto this, onto the, um, the stripped, the page of strips. So I could cut it out and then I sewed it onto the background paper, which this background paper was one that I had jelly plated a long time ago. So this is from my stash as well. It's just acrylic paint on white cardstock. Um, but it adds like a really awesome like background texture behind the heart itself. So I stitched that on here in order to keep all those pieces on really good. I uh, added my photo of my son and my husband's uncle that are just like laughing at each other. It's super cute. A little bit of journaling. Here's that title builder puffy stickers again just the word happy and then I added a couple of ephemera bits from the collection now this collection is the horizon collection from Paige Evans so that's where all of these papers are from 
The next one is also from that same collection. So this is also Pink Fresh, or not, the, not Pink Fresh Studio. This is also Pink Paisley, a Horizon collection from Paige Evans. This one, I loved, loved, loved this picture of my brother-in-law and my son. Um, they're so cute. Oh my, like this picture is so cute. So I grabbed this picture and I thought uh, it would be really fun to do like a big sun element. Now this, uh, this idea was not necessarily original. This was inspired by, I don't remember her name. I want to say, <clears throat> I want to say it was a, um, oh goodness, a Bella, Bella something, Bella the company. Ugh, I can't think of it. I'm going to put it in the description below so you guys can go check out the original inspiration for this piece. Um, and I will probably also have it on the post on Instagram where, you know, it, it'll be close to pictures of this one. So anyway, this one was inspired for sure. Uh, but what I did is I took triangles that ha I had cut previously and layered them underneath a big circle element. I did this all first on a full, it was eight and a quarter by eight and a half inch paper and then cut it directly in half and adhered it into my book. So I've got the picture over here with a few embellishments and a little tiny spot for journaling. In the Sun also came from that same title builder. So I used up a lot of those in this book and that makes me super happy. Uh, just a couple hearts and this one is good. Then for the last spread, I wanted to use a bunch of squares and try to give the page texture and just, you know, kind of have some fun with it. So what I did with this one is I cut my paper, my paper scraps, I should say, into two by two squares. Then I um, sewed all of them down onto a paper, so onto a traveler's notebook size plain white cardstock paper. So I sewed them around them, but I didn't want to get like too close to the edge because I did want to be able to pull them up. So I just pulled them up and like, like, squished the edges and tried to rough them up as much as I could to give this page some texture. Then I added a photos. I have eight photos in here of the kids outside playing in mud, which, you know, is fun. And uh, the other squares, I added some ephemera pieces or stickers or, you know, that sort of thing. Down at the bottom, I have one tiny little vellum pocket here with a tiny itty bitty tag that comes out. And I do have just a little bit of journaling about what this page is all about and the date that this page was done. So, and that just slides right here in this tiny little square, which is really fun. And then the last page, I don't have anything. It's just a, a closeout page. So that, my, my friends, is my um, second Sunday sketch album. If you guys are interested in uh, getting your hands on some sketch ideas or just, you know, some inspiration on different design concepts that you can use in your traveler's notebook or in your traditional scrapbooking or whatever scrapbooking it is you do, uh, make sure to come on over to Instagram, follow me there, and every Sunday I I post for you guys a sketch to give you guys some inspiration, and uh, I'm, I always love seeing what you guys do with them. So, I hope to see you guys over there. Um, if you guys liked this flip through, give it a thumbs up down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can see all of my future crafty videos. I will be back again with more videos later in the week. Until then, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye now.